Hello everybody, SSA here, aka Super Sumo Rashi, bring you something different on my YouTube page. Well, it's not actually different because it is Pokemon related, but instead of a let's play, we're now going to show. Or I'm going now. I'm going to show you guys some more uh, battle-related stuff. Um, basically, competitive battling. I recently gained interest in competitive battling uh, because playing the game over and over again isn't quite uh, fun after a while so I began to gain interest in competitive battling and the best website to do that is Pokemon Showdown uh, basically Pokemon Showdown is a free website where you can battle, create your own teams uh, using different tiers Pokemon Smogon has to offer uh, I can explain the tiers in a few, uh, in a brief moment but uh, I thought well, while I'm learning uh, and while I'm building teams and etc etc I wanted to show you guys uh, my road to <laughs> learning competitive battling or something in that order but uh, yeah um, I built a team today and I'm going to show you guys the team I built in a few moments but it's a, a NU based team which means never used and uh, never use is, I think, second lowest tier. The lowest is Little Cup, which is basically all the non-evolved Pokémon, all the star uh, base one Pokémon or um, base one. I think yeah, it's called base one, right? Or, um, actually, the Pokémon that haven't evolved yet. But I'm using NU today, so. Uh, I can show you the team right now. So this is my team which I'm using today. It's basically a team based on my own preferences. Um, so it's probably not the best team around. But I want to start off with a team that I like, basically. So first off we have, if I can click on it, yes. We have Smell Me The Blossom holding the leftovers. Moves are Giga Drain, Synthesis, Sleep Powder and Moonblast with Calm Nature boosting the HP, Special Defensive, Defense. So yeah, basically I, I, I love Blossom um, as a Pokemon. I don't know why, it's something from um, Gen 2 that that attracted me uh, back uh, when I was a kid. I mean, Gen 2 is my favorite Pokemon game. Gold, Silver, Crystal, hands down, best Pokemon game. Um, yeah, so then we have here, of course, this couldn't have been in a team without my favorite Pokemon. Sand Slash, Shunarashi Sand Slash, Holding the Lumberry, uh, Ability Sand Field, Rapid Spin, Knock Off, Earthquake and Stealth Rock. Um, Adamant Nature to boost the attack, but Sand Slash isn't that good of a Pokemon competitively, uh, but I'm gonna use it because I love Sand Slash, and Sand Slash can be useful in some way. So I hopefully in the battles I'm going to have in this episode, he will. Then we have Luke the Rotom fan holding the Expert Belt, uh, Fold Switch, Air Slash, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball. I think basically. The best move set for this Rotom. Um, special attack, speed, of course, defense. Um, I'm using uh, this Rotom in Pokemon Auras, Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and I love him. <laughs> I love this Pokemon in that game. It's also competitively a good Pokemon to use, so hopefully, it works out. Then we have Roxas the Flareon holding the Charcoal to boost the Flare Blitz. Um, most of most of competitive battlers use a Choice Band or Choice Scarf. I, I mix those two um, sometimes up, but I rocked out with the Charcoal because the Flare Blitz can be power sometimes. Um, I'm still a noob, so if I'm wrong with that, go ahead, criticize me. But yeah, Flare Blade, Super Power, Quick Attack and Will-O-Wisp. Then we have Cooper the Sanguus holding the Toxic, toxic Orc. 
which is useful for his ability Toxic Boost. Uh, then we have the attack Facade, Knock Off, Quick Attack and Close Combat. Uh, basically, um, physical attacker all the way. And then, last but not least, we have Madame Mim. Madame Mim, holding the Live Orb with Taunt, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Nasty Plot, uh, Boosting, Special Attack and Speed here. So, this is the team I created for today. It's basically, as I said, a team based on my preferences. Uh, meaning uh, Blossoms, Sand Slash, Rotom Fan, Pokemon Flareon, Pokemon I love uh, because they're Pokemon I used to use back in the day with games. Uh, Cooper and Madame Mim are not actually Pokemon I used a lot, but I wanted to try something out and they stand out with me in this tier so let's see if I can do some good <laughs> in this uh, episode so we're going to back to home and I think we're going to do a raid I'm doing raided battles I know that is probably not the best thing to do but that's the easiest way to learn right so I'm going to put an NU well we have our team right there so I think the only thing we can do is look for a battle now and uh, see what I can do in this episode. So without further ado, I think it's time that we look for a battle and try this team out. And hopefully we can win. I'm not certain we can win because as I said, I'm unexperienced when it comes to competitive battling. So the people we're going to battle against are probably way more experienced than I am. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to look for a battle. And he's searching right now for a battle. So hopefully we can find a person. There we have. So as you can see here, we're facing Izai and N. Or just Izai with Ludicolo, Buvalant, Fivillion, Crustle, Hunter and Swallow. So now we have to guess against which one we're going to face up next. I think it's safe that we go out with our Luke because yeah, there's the Ludicolo, so we can. I think we can just air slash it, which is super effective. Rain dance. Okay, so he's gonna set up the rain dance. So, I'm just gonna air slash it again and knock this Ludicolo out. So, that was, that was pretty easy. <laughs> so, now I'm hoping he's going. I think he's going for the Crustle now. Oh, he's going for the Buffalant. Alright, you know what? I'm going to Volt Switch out. And I think I'm going for. Let's see. I think we're Madame Mim. He's going for Head's Charge, but as a Ghost is not very, uh, doesn't very, doesn't have effect on Ghost type. So I'm gonna taunt him now. All right, that was not a great move because he cannot do Wild Charge. So. See, this is where this is the point where I'm unexperienced uh, because my brain is now. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? So should I switch out? Should I attack him? Because I'm going for Dazzling Gleam because yeah, that doesn't do much. And with Life Orb, yeah, Mother Mim is out. So probably not the best move. Um. I think I can go out to Luke again and just Thunderbolt it, but I don't think Luke will handle that. So I think I'm going in with Cooper and close combat it, meaning the Buffalo is gone. 
And the Toxic comes now in, thanks to the Toxic up. So, I think he's going out for the Haunter right now, because we're normal type. There we go. So, we can knock off the Haunter. Which is super effective. Oh! He forfeited the match. Well, I say, Isai, I'm doing a YouTube video here. Forfeiting the match isn't quite helpful because now the battle is already over. So we won by forfeit. <laughs> Probably Cooper was too uh, intimidating for uh, our guy here. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to look for another battle because that was a big of a, a big of an anti-climax right there. I think I did good right there, right? Even him forfeiting the match. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do another battle because I don't want this episode to be over that soon. So there we have it's Captain Obvious. Nice name. With uh, ooh. It's a pretty good team there. Hmm. Ditto uh, also Sengu, so that could be a problem. Jinx. I think he's going out with Kling Clang. I think it's best to save out to go with Roxas. Yeah. So I'm just gonna flare blitz right away. Okay, he's withdrawing into the ditto. Yeah, alright, alright. I see you. You're probably gonna superpower me. That was pretty, that was a smart move by him. Because I don't. Well, Sand Slash can do trouble against Ditto now. Alright. This is taking a lot of time. Alright, he's super powering. Yeah, okay. That was a critical hit, not unless. Wow, alright, alright. I need to go out with Sand Slash right now because there's another way. And we're not gonna do it. Quake it. Defense fell. Yeah, so that's. Alright, so I'm gonna put out the steel Stealth Rocks. If my Sand Slash can survive, and he cannot. And now I'm in trouble because I don't have anything to counter the ice, so... I'm going out with Cooper. And I'm just going to knock off... Alright, Focus Blast! Alright then. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to win with Smell Me the Blossom and Use Sleep Powder. Because Blossom's defense is pretty high. Jinx is asleep. Leftover should do the trick. Now he will probably go in Kling Clang or Ferro Sheet. So I think it's safe to use Synthesis. Alright, so he's used to sleep. And probably going to Moonblast it now. And he woke up. Alright, Nasty Plot. Oh. Alright. I'm not a fan of Nasty Plot. So I'm gonna use Sleep Powder again. And he gets like another crit. So I'm gonna lose this. This is why I'm inexperienced. I need to learn. I need to learn hard. Uh. He's gonna Ice Beam again. It was not a good move. No, no, no. Yeah, so I'm gonna lose this. Um, I'm going to Shadow Ball. Alright. But I mean, that, did that work? Good. But he will go into... Probably into Sangu, so no, no, not Sangu, Clean Clang or so.
Yeah, that's the Clink Clank. So, I'm going to use Nasty Plot. Hopefully, I can set up against him. Substitute. Okay, the substitute is faded. Speed rolls. Alright, so yeah, that's that's the match. <laughs> I could have done better there. But yeah. As I said, I'm still inexperienced. I won the first battle by forfeiting. <laughs> And now I lost big time because. Yeah, because I'm not that good. But I'm l still learning, and hopefully, next episode I can. This is basically a sort of thing where I hope to improve after every episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode of. Pokemon Showdown. Um, this is something I want to do weekly or monthly or something. But if you would want to see more of these, hit that like button, leave a comment, slash that subscribe button down the middle. But with that, I'm going to leave you now. Bye. Oh, there he is. I'm scared at the moment. can make his debut and I think it's time that we challenge this douchebag to finish him 